Hi, so let us try to understand the first part of the world history. The first part talks about enlightenment and the rise of modern ideas. So let us see this demystified series. So as always, the first thing which you always need to understand is the syllabus, second the trend analysis, third the overall PYQs and finally what are the specific sources. So stay with me for next five minutes and I'll be helping you out with all these things. Okay, so when we talk about syllabus, if you see the broader category, it is enlightenment and modern ideas. Within enlightenment, UPSC specifically mentioned major ideas of enlightenment, all the political, economic, social, cultural ideas which are related to enlightenment, you have to understand them. And specifically two thinkers are mentioned, one is Kant and the second is Rousseau. So you have to understand their philosophy, you have to understand which books they have written, you have to understand their overall impact on the, on the 18th century itself. Then the spread of these enlightenment in the various colonies because with colonization the ideas of enlightenment reach various colonies like in the 19th century we had social justice reform movements in India and that is again very much connected to spread of ideas of enlightenment. Finally it talks about rise of socialist ideas like look naturally first comes industrialization then comes the rise of socialist ideology but of UPSC ke syllabus mein thoda aisa hi upar niche hai. Okay. So, but just if I see plainly from the syllabus point of view, in this first you have to learn about the utopian socialism and second you have to learn about the Marxist socialism or the communism. The third part which is mentioned in your syllabus is the spread of these Marxian socialism. So, three parts utopian, Marxian socialism or scientific socialism and last part for this is going to be the spread of this Marxist socialism like all of us understand. Russian Revolution and Chinese Revolution. So, the syllabus is straightforward in that way and you will have to connectivity to the syllabus. So, this is the syllabus part. I hope it is clear to all of you now. Now, let us try to understand the trends. What total question is coming? How many specific topics have you asked UPSC? If you understand this, then you will be ready to become a topper. So, number one, total number of questions which we have seen till 2022, last year. How many questions are there? And second, the major ideas, if we talk about Kant, Rousseau, spread of enlightenment in the colonies, so overall 5 questions here, se. Rousseau ke specifically, independently, if you look at the question, around 5 questions are there, Kant se 3 questions, hai. rise of socialist ideas and spread, total we have around 8 questions. So, questions are a lot and it is a guarantee, every year UPSC is going to ask one question from this, at least. And majority of the time, two questions come. One is enlightenment ki heading, se aata, dusra, socialism and Marxism. Se aata. Toh, isko dhyan rakhna. This is why I am doing trend analysis for all of you. Please, you know? let us now go further. Previous year, questions. So, if we see the first category, in the first category, they are asking this basic idea, ki, what is the meaning of enlightenment? Like, what was enlightened about the age of enlightenment? There is a controversy, like Voltaire talks about enlightenment, but Immanuel Kant says, Voltaire was living in the age of enlightenment, the age itself was not enlightened. So, there is a difference, hai. ideas modern came out, but application was lacking. This is the meaning that you can understand. Second, the principle of enlightenment has been linked with the ideas of scientific revolution, which starts in Europe from 16th and 17th century. Two major personality that we have is Newton as well as the Francis Bacon. These are the important personalities. So, UPSC has linked these two concepts. Then, even though it is not mentioned, enlightened despot, twice question has been seen from there. So, I will be telling you the source for this also. Do not worry about it. Enlightenment represented alternative approaches to modernity, alternative habits of minds and heart of conscience and sensibility. Now, this is all about the ideas of enlightenment. So, pura achche se isko samaj lo, ye bohat repetitive themes hai. Then, if we talk about Rousseau, Rousseau kindled a hope which became the spirit of enlightenment. So, Rousseau ke baare mein aap achche se padh lije, you know with respect to his theory of social contract, discourse on the origin of inequality, all those points you have to understand. Sometimes UPSC mixes two themes like ideas and contribution of Rousseau is asked. How he tried to give a new theory, the new th contract theory of government that has been asked. Then his focus on romanticism, emotions becomes more important than rationality during the later part of his career that has already been asked by UPSC. And specifically his philosophy has contained the seeds of socialism, absolutism and democracy. That has also been asked. So, this is the theme which we see on Rousseau. If we go towards Immanuel Kant, so some difficult statement has been asked on Immanuel Kant, like redefinition of reason. Like he wrote a critique of pure reason. So, uske basis pe unhone ki question bana hai. 
and his rehabilitation of conscience meaning he gave so much emphasis for the conscience he is the person who always talks about moral law all right and he says he naturally consider every human being to be pure and he says if everybody is allowed to act as per their own conscience they will always take right decision but dekho reality mein aisa hota nahi hai but anyway high point in the intellectual reaction against dominant rationalism for kant enlightenment is meant and finally coming of the age he, voltaire was living in the age of enlightenment the age itself was not enlightened the same kind of question has also been asked in the ideas of enlightenment so kant remains important if we see the last thing लास्ट थीम में देखो दो ही दो ही चीज चलती रहती है वन लाइक लास्ट ईयर थोड़ा सा डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन था कि व्हाट वाज द रोल ऑफ फ्रेडरिक एंगल्स इन इन द स्प्रेडिंग द मार्क्स आइडियाज एंड हाउ ही वाज ही डिड इवन मोर देन कार्ल मार्क्स दोनों दोस्त थे है ना एंगल्स वाज हेल्पिंग हिम फाइनेंशियली ऑल्सो इन एडिटिंग हिज आइडियाज ऑल्सो ब्रिंगिंग आउट द वॉल्यूम ऑफ दस कैपिटल एक्सेट्रा तो उसके ऊपर एक क्वेश्चन बात है तो मोर ऑफ एन अकेडमिक काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन अदर देन एनालिसिस बेस्ड क्वेश्चन how would you explain the nature of free marxian socialism so that utopian socialism the word utopia comes from a famous novel where everybody is happy all about that that's why this first phase of socialism eventually came to known as utopian socialism how the karl marx socialism or scientific socialism was different from utopian uske upar do bar question aa chuke hain comparison of karl marx with adam smith adam smith talks about ki less is fair hona chahiye bilkul aaram se hai na there should be no restriction on the liberty which is often done by the government so that difference on that has been asked in 2016 they always ask about the comparison of france and britain britain was the first country to become industrialized france was the industry where majority of the intellectual ideas came in and why socialism became more powerful in britain rather than in france iske upar ek bahut acha question two bar aa chuka hai in fact theek hai so same statement had got repeated twice even the uh, if you talk about louis blank louis blank is one of the author or one of the personality who is associated with utopian socialism and he specifically talked about the creation of psu kind of institution the uske upar question pucha hua hai marxian communism and its comparison with hegel hegel is a very famous personality who talks about the relevance of ideas in the life of a person and it was turned around eventually by the karl marx the material jo kisi characteristics hote hain they rule the idea so these these are the kinds of questions which we have seen this first theme is very important from exam point of view every year you may say two question from here isko dhyan rakhna and when you prepare this topic keep this in mind solve all the pyq number of pyqs are limited that's a very good thing for us sources to dekho sabse jo famous uh, book aur jo book mein sabse zyada recommend karta hu that is ranjan chakrabarti but ab dekho bahut zyada split ho rakha hai like the first part major ideas of enlightenment you're going to find it in chapter number 2 french revolution page number 38 to 41 to yahan se pad lena second enlightened despotism ye aapko chapter 1 mein mil jata hai page number 1 to 11 and the spread of ideas of enlightenment chapter number 4 mein you're going to find rise of socialist ideas and spread of marxian socialism ab hum aapko page number bhi isliye de rahe hain so that you don't get any kind of problem in finding kahan se kya padhna hai agar aapko further reading karni hai theek hai so you can do it from the ignu All right, हमने आपको मार्क कर दिया है क्या स्पेसिफिक आपको सर्च करना है वेब पे आपको इजिली मिल जाएगा एंड द यूनिट थ्री इट टॉक्स अबाउट एनलाइटनमेंट स्पेसिफिकली मार्क्सियन और यूरोपियन सोशलिज्म के ज्यादा कुछ और पढ़ने का जरूरत रहे नहीं बस सिर्फ फर्स्ट पार्ट के लिए विश टू स्टडी दिस कैन बी फर्दर रीडिंग लेवल सेकेंड पे लेवल वन आप पहले उतना ही पढ़ लीजिए ठीक है Now, if you want to have access to mentorship, if you want to have access to the webinar that I will be conducting regularly for history optional, so register, girl. You'll get the strategic documents along with it, and access to webinar will be provided to only those students who are going to be a part of this. Watch all of these videos, which are going to come up for history optional. अच्छे से पढ़ो इसको. Selection आराम से हो जाएगा. Don't worry about it. All right. Read these prescribed books which I've been telling you, and eventually, अगर अच्छे से पढ़ाई कर लोगे, तो in the webinar you can ask very relevant questions. वो आपको एक तरीके से अगर आप सेल्फ स्टडी भी कर रहे हो तो अच्छे से आपको हेल्प हो जाएगी ऑल राइट सो दिस वाज द फर्स्ट वीडियो व्हिच आई व्हिच आई हैव टेकन फॉर द वर्ल्ड हिस्ट्री पार्ट वन देर विल बी इलेवन मोर वीडियोस डायरेक्टली लिंक्ड विद वर्ल्ड हिस्ट्री इफ यू हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम फॉर द हिस्ट्री ऑप्शन तो आराम से नंबर पर आप फोन कर सकते हो ऑल राइट यू कैन विजिट आवर वेबसाइट टू गेट एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ वेरियस कोर्सेज एंड इफ यू विश टू गेट दीज काइंड ऑफ क्वालिटी वीडियोज तो आप सब्सक्राइब करिए ठीक है सो ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट एंड टेक केयर